I got called into the Carter campaign, the last two months of the campaign. That was the Carter Ford campaign. And I wanted to see what they had done before. And here's what they were doing before I got involved. There's only one person in this country who can answer difficult questions or carve out bold proposals for giving our people services that they need. There's only one person in this country that can root out discrimination and hatred and divisions in our nation. There's only one person that can speak for our country with a bold and compassionate and an honest voice to the foreign community. And that person is the president. He was always speaking to other people, to a crowd or to a group of people in his backyard or to the person who was interviewing him. The size of the head was about one twelfth of the screen or less. And I felt if you just enlarge that, there would be tremendous more emotionality in it. Another thing, I don't like to use music in a commercial with someone talking directly to you because if you're coming to talk to me I, and I hear music, I feel, look, if you want to talk to me, what do you bring your musicians for? And here's an example of the type of spot I did with Carter, just talking to you. I'm Jimmy Carter. Gerald Ford voted against Medicare, against food stamps for the elderly, against adequate housing. Isn't it bad enough that older people are the worst victims, the easiest victims of hoodlums and criminals? Must they also be victimized by their own government in Washington? How could anyone serve in the White House without wanting to help them? I felt I wanted him to talk to you about things that were meaningful to you. And they hadn't given me any research in this campaign. So I had been working on 16 other campaigns across the country at this time. So I used what I learned about people's feelings there. And I did my commercials based on that. 